Hello, everybody. A very good evening to all of you. Uh, and uh, I'm from I'm Deepshika Rana from Quan Masters, and I'm I'm very happy and pleased to announce that Anusha from our batch, sixteen, has got placed in DXC Technology as Associate Software Engineer. So, Anusha Hartis, congratulations from the team of Quan Masters. Thank you, ma'am. Thank so, Anusha, you. Let's start with uh, you telling something about yourself, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm so. Anusha. I'm studying B.Tech in uh, Reva University. I'm from the branch of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Now I'm currently in seventh semester. It's not mm -hmm. started yet, and I've been placed at B.Sc Technology in the month of July with a package of four LPA. So, uh, it was an online interview for you, is it? Yeah, yeah, online. It was on campus. Uh, yeah, on campus. From college side itself, we had received the registration link. Yeah. Okay. But the test was online. Okay. Congratulations from you. For, uh, congratulations to you that you made it in uh, the 6th M only. So, yeah, uh, Anusha, so you tell me uh, when you started like preparing, when did you start preparing for your interviews? Like, it's just 6 m for you and mainly students actually start and procrastinate and then think that, okay, let's start it from the 7th sem. And sometimes they also started from 8th sem and then we'll see it. Something like that have, is the notion in their mind. So how did you set yourself up? For aptitude, I started from the month of June itself. I joined Quant Masters in June and that's 16. So in through Quant Masters itself, I had practiced a lot of aptitude and I was fast in uh, cracking those questions easily. And for DXC specifically, I prepared for uh, one week uh, properly, like with the aptitude, technical questions, computer programming questions, uh, and other language questions. Uh, and it was easy for me to crack the first round itself. So when you were actually researching which... Uh platform should I choose to start learning so it would have been difficult for you right in the very beginning yeah. you could have searched in YouTube or on different platforms Google data or something like that yeah for uh, first round uh, as far as I had uh, asked Manchester sir regarding the questions how my how it might be so he had told me to refer the questions which has been uploaded in Plant Masters website for level one for DXC technology and I refer those questions itself and majority of them came from those questions itself like not exactly the same but the logic for the logic was same so it was easy for me to crack the aptitude thing. Okay fine so Anusha will move on to uh, what the rounds were and what was actually asked in each round so let's start with that. Yeah so DXC technology basically it has only two rounds uh, for our batch, it had only two rounds. First round was online test aptitude. And the second round was uh, HR and PR uh, technical interview combined. So mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the HR who you get, whether the HR is going to ask you the technical questions or only the HR questions or both combined. So first, okay. uh, uh, first if you clear the uh, aptitude round, within uh, two, three days, you will get the results. And within one week, you will be scheduled for uh, interview round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, talking about the first round, that is the aptitude round. Yeah. So, let's talk about that. So, yeah. how many questions were asked? What were the main, uh, you know, chapters yeah. from which the questions were asked? What to focus on? How much time was allot allotted to you, and all that things? Yeah, yeah. First is aptitude round. In that aptitude round, it's divided into many sections. First section mm -hmm. is uh, quantitative ability section. Mm -hmm. Second section mm -hmm. is logical section, verbal section, uh, and essay writing is there. And also computer programming MCQs is there. And last section is automatic section. And first so are section there four is, sections? Four no, sections. There are, um, there are totally six sections. Okay, fine. Six sections. All, uh, all are being divided. Sectional time is given. And you can't mm -hmm. switch between the section nor between the questions. So you have to okay. answer in order. So okay, if you okay. answer the first question, only then you can answer the second question. And you can't go back to the first question and change the answer. Once you okay. answer, it's, uh, it's locked once you answer. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so quantitative good. ability, there were 16 questions given 16 mm -hmm. minutes. 
for mm-hmm. logical questions for 14 questions and 14 minutes for verbal it was 12 questions and 15 minutes and uh, automata fix was seven questions with 20 minutes essay is one question and 20 minutes and computer programming mcqs is 12 questions with 15 minutes mhm yeah so can you tell uh, what were the questions uh, asked which uh, chapters were mainly focused in uh, app, uh, quant in quant mainly they focused on averages profit and loss time speed and distance time and work allegations mm-hmm. and mixtures and uh, it's a simple interest and compound interest okay and also the number system yeah okay so mainly arithmetic and number systems yeah. i can say there was uh, questions on probability permutation combination no no okay so coming to the next round that next section that is uh, the verbal one yeah verbal yeah in verbal mainly they focused on passage writing passage uh, passage will be given and the question will be based on that and second mm-hmm. section second topic from verbal is uh, vocabulary the mm-hmm. words uh, we have to say the meaning synonyms or antonyms of the word and mm-hmm. also uh, that given speeches uh, change into indirect speech direct speech and uh, fill in the blanks with the proper speech and article and also uh, subject verb uh, agreement mm mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, in uh, logical in logical mainly they focus on blood relation and mm-hmm. uh, code decode and mm-hmm. direction there are many questions were from direction okay was it and easy also, or medium or yeah. difficult level if you practice for a few days it is easy to crack all okay. the level was easy except mm-hmm. the computer programming questions which uh, coming from a core ba- background it's a quite difficult to crack the section because okay. time is less yeah next is computer programming section for mcqs in which there are questions from oops c programming c++ programming basics mm-hmm. of dbml basics mm-hmm. of uh, sql and operating system okay yeah and i say that they'll give just random topic like current situation mm-hmm. it can be based on the covid or uh, current situation current affairs any one topic and 20 minutes will be given you have to write it in 200 to 400 words and mm-hmm. the proper vocabulary should be used so will the topic be abstract or the current real time situation like whatever is happening around the world right now they'll give on that uh, it can be anything because all of my friends receive different topics so mm-hmm. it can be different yeah so in short and we need to stay updated uh, what's happening yeah. in the world yeah and also you should be able to write on anything they give okay with fine. proper usage of words and uh, the length is uh, 200 to 400 words minimum okay. 200 words you have to write yeah okay yeah, yeah. next is automata fix section for automata fix section there is seven questions in which uh, there are many topics included such as arrays strings mm-hmm. searching sorting and a piece of code will be given you have to complete the code or else find the logical or uh, uh, spelling mistakes in the uh, code and decode the code and get the required output or also the code will be given you have to crack what might be the output of the code okay fine so do you remember the topic uh, they gave you for essay for a say that given me uh, the uh, a person who is not honest can never be a good leader so okay okay fine yeah. okay fine so uh, do you remember any like uh, uh, topic from uh, the automata uh, section that given on average of three numbers mm-hmm. that given a question and we have to complete the code that okay. uh, given space for the code to be written the main now uh, which loop thing is given we have to mm-hmm. complete the loop mm-hmm. okay fine yeah. 10 test okay. cases will be there you have to uh, you have to get all the 10 case uh, test cases uh, proper okay all the test cases have to be passed yeah okay fine so how much time is given for that seven questions 20 minutes okay it'll be easy or medium like few will be easy 
you will be uh-huh. easy and love you will be difficult okay fine so after you uh, got through the first round uh, you got selected for the second round that is tr and hr yeah. combined so how many days did it take for you to uh, get the result for the second round my my online test was on 22nd july and mm-hmm. i got a message uh, regarding the next round selections on 23rd july itself afternoon mm-hmm. 23rd july afternoon they send the list of the selected student and they scheduled uh, my uh, interview on 26th of july okay okay yeah okay fine so uh, coming to the next round that is tr and hr technical round and hr so yeah. what was asked to you so actually uh, my slot was from 10 to 10:30 and mm. i logged in at 10 and the interviewer joined it was a lady interviewer interviewer mm. joined but due to network she got disconnected it was from there uh, and the network issue so mm. i waited for 10 to 15 minutes uh, after 10 to 15 minutes so the same interviewer joined back again and okay. then uh, the interview started and she uh, first she asked me to introduce myself tell me about myself and uh, i i spoke about myself after speaking about myself i had uh, mentioned my project in my uh, introduction itself so first question after my uh, introduction was uh, explain me uh, explain in brief about my project so i explained about my project in brief what it is about then uh, she asked about uh, what are your hobbies uh, what do you do when you are free at home she was casually talking what do you do when you are free at home and uh, what do you do to uh, get out of stress when you are stressed she asked mm-hmm. yeah i spoke i told about my hobbies like uh, uh, singing i read books and i play piano so she was uh, she was, she smiled and she asked the next question which is uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses and i told my strengths as my leadership qualities and uh, i can do multitasking and mm-hmm. weakness about uh, proper time management mm-hmm. so uh, she told me to explain how you can say what you, that is your strength so about strength leadership qualities i spoke about my uh, being organizer at my college for cultural and other activities cultural events mm-hmm. so she was interested by that for next she asked me for next year yes, where do you see yourself in next five years so i told uh, as a manager or as a higher uh, position of my current job handling the team which uh, i can lead properly so next question was uh, are you ready for shifting for uh, other locations if you are assigned for other locations are you okay with it yeah i told okay so she has uh, are your parents okay with that uh, they won't uh, make any issue later so i told yeah all are okay with it. so mm-hmm. next question was are you ready for uh, night shift working at night shift so i told yeah okay so she asked me justify why you are ready for night shift so i told uh, okay. uh, for exams also i'll be away the late night so i don't have any problem for uh, being uh, working late night so next question she told being from a core background why are you choosing it company mm-hmm. uh, to join so i told uh, i have gained my uh, interest in, uh, towards the it subjects like uh, programming and all so i want to improve my skills and uh, work for the company so she told okay then she told why dxc then uh, yeah that's it she what told, did you ask uh, what did you tell about why dxc you had done some I research did, about it yeah, is it i had done some research about it so i had googled uh, what is dxc what type of services it provides and uh, uh, what are its employees where is, uh, where is its branches and all so mm-hmm. i spoke few words about dxc so she was impressed then she told uh, yeah nice talking to you my uh, ha- company head will uh, contact with you okay so h- how was the interview was it like a smooth process since it yeah. is online yeah it was smooth I, i i was very much worried about the technical thing i prepared well for technical also regarding the concepts which were told to be prepared so uh, 
I was expecting few technical questions, but they asked me only the HR questions. So, uh, and it got over for ten to fifteen minutes. It got over. So they didn't even ask you about the core concepts, right? No. Nor technical questions, neither technical nor uh, the no. core concepts, right? No. Okay, fine. So you got lucky. Yeah. Okay, fine. So Anusha, uh, please tell uh, the students who might be watching you in YouTube uh, okay. about some uh, lessons that you want to give them if 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 they are preparing for DXE or any other company yeah. as yeah. Yeah, for uh, cracking the first round, uh, making sure you're good at aptitude, logical reasoning, reasoning and verbal reasoning is the main. If you are good at that, you can crack any first rounds which are based on these questions. So for interview thing, they mainly focus on your communication skills. So don't be nervous while uh, answering them any questions or uh, anything. So if you are, if you show them you're confident, they will also feel that you're confident and uh, they won't uh, ask many questions. They will end it for few few questions itself. Okay. Thank you, Anusha, for these wise words. Uh, I hope students uh, get to learn uh, from this uh, interview experience session of DXC technology uh, and other companies as well if they're preparing for it. So thank you very much, Anusha, and all the very best for your future. Bye. Thank you. Bye.